I, Brian, proudly take you, Carrie, to be my wife. I vow to lead our relationship toward loving Jesus Christ and making disciples. I will love you above success and will work to affirm you every day for the rest of our lives. I vow to never stop pursuing you, making marriage the beginning of a lifetime of wooing you, not the end. You are beautiful and worthy to God and to me, and I promise to remind you of that every day. I vow to love you as Christ loves the church, giving myself up for you and fighting for your sanctification. I promise never to take our love or our marriage for granted, remembering that relationships will require work from both sides. I will try to lead us away from argument and into laughter. I will look to say I love you before I look to say I'm right. I promise to encourage you to cherish Christ above anything else in this world, even me, because I know that Christ will satisfy you more than I can in this life and for eternity. Likewise, I promise to love God more than you, but also to love you over any person of this world. I pray others see Christ in us and that our marriage points to the greater marriage of Christ and His people. It is grace that has brought us thus far and it is by grace that we will keep this covenant for all the days of our lives. Oh my. <laughs> oh, you look great. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you look beautiful. <laughs> Hey. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. I, Carrie, proudly take you, Brian, to be my husband. This is my commitment to you. I will joyfully and willingly follow your strength as you lead us, trusting that your intentions are always for good and for the Lord's utmost glory. I will daily seek to become an expert in all of your strengths and not your weaknesses. I promise that even when I don't feel like it, I'll forgive you, fight for you, and always speak kindly towards you. You have cared for me in my sickness and reminded me that the Lord is always for us, <laughs> even when our hearts are lost in despair. And I promise to always do the same for you. I promise to encourage you to cherish Christ above anything else in this world, even above me. Likewise, I promise to love God more than I love you, because only then can our marriage work the way that it was intended to. I pray that others would see and hear the love of Christ because of our marriage and partnership in the gospel. I know that our loving and following Jesus will cost us everything that we are, and I trust you to lead us in living lives that are worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray that when we take our last breath, that our lives and our marriage would not have been wasted on ourselves, but that they would have been poured out as a pleasing sacrifice, welcoming others into the love of Christ and leaving a legacy that resounds into eternity. It is by grace that has brought us this far, and it is by grace that we will keep this covenant for all the days of our lives. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Take you, Carrie. Take you, Carrie. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to support. To love and to support. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. According to God's design and strength. According to God's design and strength. I commit myself completely to you. I commit myself completely to you. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. It is my privilege to present to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Cole Westbrook.
Come on, yeah, we can be gone with the plan.